as they have registered let's not waste our valuable time good morning namaskar and welcome to the final day of advanced poultry nutrition and feed formulation webinar i am dr vivek rekmi the coordinator of this uh, webinar and director markam at vet uh, nepal we are extremely thankful uh, for your overwhelming participation we are thankful to the insightful uh, talk of our keynote speakers it's a matter of immense delight for us that uh, we have participants from different nations as well as speakers from different nations uh, again i would like to request uh, their participants to mute their microphone uh, during the talk and they can they, they please feel free to put your questions in chat box and we humbly request you to appear in this uh, platform uh, with your with the name with which you you have registered and today we are having three talks uh, then uh, it is the like icing on the cake today you know we have set the tone for the feed formulation we have learned the basics of digestive physiology of chicken we learned about different feed ingredients additives feed supplement feed processing quality control different things and we are now ready to learn about the feed formulation we will be learning feed formulation by two techniques one is by using simple microsoft excel sheet uh, and the other by a software called ecomix feed formulation software and we will also be dealing with uh, nutritional diseases in poultry without further ado uh, i would like to introduce you to today's first speaker dr subhas sreshta talking about uh, dr subhas sreshta is raised in a family whose prime business was directly related to poultry business he got a, a family bond attachment with poultry business and following the family set trend he earned a bachelor of veterinary science and animal husbandry Uh, from IAS TU on 2003 then after he associated with on the feeds and poultry and have gained experience in poultry husbandry and medicine he have he has a masters in business administration mba degree from usa in 2009 since then till now he has been associated with uh, animal feeds as senior technical advisor and has uh, been directly involved in designing ration for poultry he has gained much in hand experience in poultry feed formulation and feed milling by his involvement in the production process and several national and international trainings and seminar besides this he has professional experience of serving as vice president of nepal veterinary association titon chapter and president of nepal veterinary association province number no. 3 and now he is in currently an executive committee member of prestigious nepal veterinary council mm, i would like to give the floor now to dr subhas resta uh, to deliver his talk on feed formulation in poultry using uh, microsoft excel software thank you uh, very much uh, um, for my brief introductions a very good morning to everybody uh, it's morning in nepal and i i got to know that there are uh, participants from the beside the country also so i think i have to go in the english <laughs> briefly i uh, about this uh, about my uh, presentations <clears throat> generally there are uh, lots of software to formulate the feed you know like um, like in india also they have their own uh, it's in development and then there are other a few like brill ecomix and then uh, something that's very expensive uh, for everybody to use it uh, so so and then i i developed my own excel so uh, and i have developed my own excel form formulation type is like kind of hit and trial uh, you can automate the excels excels also by like um, by putting on the add-ins so like the, there is a solver add-ins then you can uh, set up your own parameters and then by setting up your own parameters uh, you can uh, slightly automate the feed uh, formulation process also by that way it will uh, it will go near about the least cost formulations also you can you can uh, just uh, you have to go through the excels and uh, put the go to the solver and put the add ins so if if you put the add in solver then you can automate the, the this excel formulations also here uh, I, i was in a bit rush so here i have uh, uh, make some presentations uh, few presentations the basics uh, what you have to do before formulative formulations what you have to do the considerations before formulations 
So it's kind of very basic. Uh, probably I've already gone through the uh, previous uh, president's pr uh, presentation also everything, but still I'll, I, I would like to revise it. <clears throat> uh, am I sharing my screen or something? It's going wrong. Not yet, not yet. Not yet, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I think yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been shared, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a simple topic, it's a field formulation by Excel. So I want to like empower everybody to uh, do the kind of formulations by the, by the simple tricks in the Excel also. And it's very much possible. You can do that for the like if uh, small installations if you have or you are uh, just starting the form, formulating the feed and getting the basics of the formulation so if you get the if you you masters on the basic of the formulation then you can do you can use the like um, uh, most sophisticated formulating tools on, uh, later on on your career so it's on just the basics <clears throat> so your before form formulations, you have to know, need to know about the nutrients. Uh, nutrients is uh, that it, basically you have already learned in the science is a nutrient is in the carbohydrate, proteins, and proteins is uh, proteins is the like uh, structural formations of the amino acids, uh, simple amino acids, and then there's a the fatty acids and vitamins and minerals is the simple constituents of the nutrient. You can uh, you can get it on. And then uh, when you come to the energy, there's the gross energy. Uh, probably you have gone through the, in the nutrient classes and then gross energy, it will divide in fecal energy, digestible energy, and digestible energy is goes into the urine and gas energy and metabolizing energy. So here, generally up to till the now and till in Nepal, we are formulating on the basis of this meta, uh, metabolizable energy. And metabolizable energy is the unit term we consider the K cal per kg. Uh, I've I've been focusing on this metabolic energy because now nowadays uh, uh, they they've been uh, producing it in the net energy basis also. So uh, uh, you might uh, you, it, you might get difficult to get the get the data on the basis of net uh, net energy. So so far there is evidence of data in the metabolic energy. So it will be very much uh, like uh, easy and uh, rational to uh, develop the feed in this metabolic energy basis. <clears throat> it uh, it comes from the energy and the energy you can get it from the carbohydrate also and from the fat also fat is a highly dense in energy and carbohydrate uh, easily uh, readily available energy and then protein also from protein also you can get the get the energy so the there are the fat and carbohydrate and protein are the source of the energy and then there is comes a protein protein uh, Protein that there is a primary primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, quaternary structures. So generally, the uh, protein has to be broken down into the simpler form, and simpler form of uh, uh, protein is the is the amino acid is a simple simpler form and the unit of protein and proteins. Yeah, just uh, I put on the basic terms uh, because I'm not going on the details of these proteins and other things. And amino acids like. Uh, uh, Probably have studied on the essential, semi-essential, and non-essential amino acids. Uh, so here I've classified is uh, amino acid in the non, not synthesized in chickens. Like uh, probably you have gone through the in the human side also in it's in human uh, those amino acid which are which are considered uh, not essential can be uh, can be essential in the chicken chicken also. It can be essential in chicken. So there here is non not synthesized in chickens means. Uh, body body is not able to synthesize these amino acids in the body of the chicken. So, in under the non-synthesized chickens is the arginine, lysine, histidine, leucine, actually leucine, valine, methionine, threonine, tryptophan, phenylalanine. This you have to supplement it from through the feed, uh, because the body cannot uh, synthesize uh, synthesize completely these amino acids. So this has to be supplement from the feed, and synthesize from limited substrates. Uh, if if they have a substrate. Uh, these three amino acids they can uh, um, body can syn synthesize uh, and then readily synthesize in chickens from single substrate and then these are the amino acids which are synthesized from the single substrate uh, 
this this uh, busy you don't have to supplement it from the feed and then here the, there's a glycine serine proline uh, now now in uh, general terms and now the science is uh, coming up with the with the supplement of glycine and serine proline as, as a separate form that 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 is a like a detailed study that you will get to know after after you will be studying or uh, studying more about this <clears throat> And uh, among the amino acid uh, so far, uh, synthetic amino acid uh, we can supplement directly. Uh, synthetic amino acid is in like lysine, uh, methionine, uh, as abundantly find uh, found synthetic amino acid, and then threonine. Uh, now nowadays it is available. Now that there is being concept to add the synthetic amino acid like valine, isolation, and threonine, uh, tryptophan also it's available in the market, but uh, not in so much evidence amount uh evidence amount so generally uh generally lysine methionine threonine is uh, available and you can uh, you can add up this synthetic amino acid in your diet so and then comes the vitamins the vitamins uh, i have mentioned here the like uh, the vitamin form vitamin a and there um, there are other names uh, and uh, how how they are referred in the uh, how they are referred and their forms it's a vitamin a as retinol vitamin b1 thiamine and their examples of physiological functions are there you can go to the slide later on uh, i don't have to like read out and then uh, i've already told uh, in the before my class uh, before my class i i had um, i had to talk about the calcium and phosphorus and so it's uh, the, all the minerals and minerals generally it is found in major macro and micro minerals and, and under the micro minerals comes comes calcium phosphorus magnesium potassium under the micro minerals copper manganese zinc selenium cobalt uh, you have to consider uh, these uh, these minerals also in your feed uh, feed to properly and and other feed ingredients which are which are not nutritionally significant but still uh, still you have to use it in the feed like toxin binders and mold inhibitors and there's uh, antibiotic growth promoters. I have uh, like uh, crossed this antibiotic growth promoter because it's not allowed in Nepal, but it's still some part of the world. Uh, it, it is still being used, antibiotic growth promoters, but in Nepal is banned, so you are not allowed to use the antibiotic growth promoters. And then there comes the antioxidants and antioxidants, emulsifiers, enzymes. Enzymes, there are three uh, mostly used enzymes, NSPAs. Uh, it's, it's to digest the non saccharide poly. Uh, non starch poly polysaccharides and there's a phytase and then protease to digest the protein and phytase to uh, abstra, to uh, break down the phytated uh, comp compound molecule and release the phosphorus and then there is the if you are using like a non antibiotic growth promoters uh, non non agp feed then you have to use the acidifier probiotics and yeast products um, yeast, yeast products yeah so so you can so you have to use like um, uh, whatever the economically uh, economically benefited, then you can use uh, like uh, your your uh, economic seeing the economy feed or the cost of the feed. You can judicially uh, choose uh, between these three, or you can use all the three uh, as body impotence. So here comes like uh, before you okay, formulate the food, you need to know about your raw materials, right? Uh, in, in Nepal, is the mostly is the corn soya based diet. So you, you you got to know about your corn and soya much more properly. Here I have here I have like uh, given you the matrix value for the uh, mostly used raw matrix in Nepal. Uh, generally, in Nepal um, we are evidence so we, we mostly uh, formulate on the corn basis, uh, corn soya basis. So here's the corn and rice policy is also available and DORB means uh, it's a DOL rice brand uh, and broken rice also wheat. And soybean meal, we get in various form in Nepal, like soybean meal, 44% is also available, uh, is 44% in CP, soybean meal, 46% is in CP, and soybean meal high pro, which is 48% uh, or more, more than 48%, it will be like 47 to 49% is mostly will get. And soybean meal FF means full fat, and soybean oil. Generally, in Nepal, we are using the uh, soybean oil, and in very uh, rare cases, we have been, you've been we've been using the palm oil also. But uh, here uh, in Nepal, if you want to um, buy the fat for the chickens, then mostly 
uh, soya oil is available. So I have a, I here mentioned only soya oil, and then sunflower meal and mustard DOC, MDOC uh, is also been used, and corn corn green meal in certain chances, uh, and meat and bone meal. Uh, meat and bone meal 45 percent proteins uh, i have uh, allowed the matrix and meat and bone meal 50 percent is is there and dlm uh, generally uh, i have seen that using the dlm uh, they have you, you don't consider the metabolic energy in your matrix value uh, mostly in nepal like uh, mostly the, i'm talking about pets in nepal uh, <clears throat> so you have to take the matrix value for the dlm as in the metabolic energy uh, <clears throat> As in, and also, uh, also as they are supplying the amino acids, uh, is a nitrogen and nitrogen base. So uh, there is a crude protein of 58 percent is for uh, uh, DLM methionine. Lysine is a metabolic energy 3900 uh, kcal per kg, and crude protein is 94.40. And threonine they supply is, uh, is 3550 kcal per kg, and valine, <coughs> valine also supply the metabolic energy is 5200 kcal per kg. So if you use the like metabolic energy or in terms of the like amino acid also you will save the you'll save the cost in the feed so you better you, uh, it's better to use the metabolic energy in uh, amino acids also and there comes the phytase and that's i've already told you that the phytase in the different ftu form like uh, <clears throat> so is the phytase is the 5000 ftu 7500 ftu and 10000 ftu and uh, <clears throat> so the phytase uh, if you use the phytase uh, by uh, like uh, allowing the matrix of the phytase, then you will save the lots uh, lots of cost in the feed. So it's a generally enzyme uh, you have to use in the terms for the in terms of the uh, cost uh, to reduce the cost of the feed. Also, it, it is the main purpose is to reduce the cost of the feed. And beside their um, beside their functions in reducing cost of the feed, it is also good for the like digestibility of the products and then good health, good gut gut health. It, it also helps in the gut health. So if you use a good quality of enzymes, then uh, you are supporting the gut health of the chicken also. So you you need to consider the good quality of enzymes while using the feed. And then uh, a good quality of enzymes means that they have a strong matrix values and then it's a reliable matrix values and then when you use the matrix value then you are not overvaluing your formulation so you'll be like standardizing the formulation as per the requirement of birth and then it's a gelinase xt means is a one of the nsp enzymes and uh, uh, and then here i have given the matrix for protease also but uh, protease i kept it blank because i am not using the protease and here is the dcp uh digalcine phosphate lime limestone powder and I've been using sodium bicarbonate, sodium chloride, and infused stances, molasses also. So uh, these I have uh, given the matrices for the um, mostly used ingredients in Nepal. Uh, if you go over the India, then you have uh, much more choices for the um, choices for the ingredients. But in Nepal, mostly it's a corn soy basis, and these are the mostly ingredients we use in Nepal. <coughs> After uh, knowing the matrices of the like uh, your raw materials. And even like uh, only the knowing the matrix of the raw material is not enough. Then you have to know the their like uh, limitations also. Uh, like for for corn, corn is a safe corn soya uh, basis of base of formula is the most safest for, um, formulations and uh, is a mostly digestible and very good for chickens. It is allow it is generally considered as the safest of formulations. But beside um, beside that, uh, you have like uh, alternative materials for the like. For the ingredients that are uh, rice bran and then uh, the oiled rice bran is there and then uh, for the protein source there is a mustard mdoc mustard oil cake and the oil cake and sunflower you know, sunflower cake uh, for those uh, alternate materials there are limitations that you have to use a minimum maximum quantity you need to know about the maximum quantities generally the for the alternate material they have to and they have fixed for an up to five percentage of the materials so you cannot go beyond the five percentage of the materials then if you, if you go beyond the five percentage for the alternate raw materials then there might be uh, uh, there might be a side and side effect or uh, deter deteriorating the quality of the feed you are uh, you are deterring the quality of feed and so you have to you need to know your ingredients very very, very in good way and then and then you have to use it in judicially 
like uh, if you decrease the amount of soya and then if you increase the amount of uh, mustard dew real quick you might be you you might decrease the cost of the feed but uh, but the, the the feed quality won't be as far as as you have uh, uh, as you have expected so uh, you, you need to be considered very well uh, you need to know about your raw materials very very well while before using in the indoor feed <clears throat> that you will gain in gain by the experience and then uh, most of the studies uh, you will be doing in your further for the time uh, so after you're knowing the um, knowing the like ing um, your ingredients then you need to know about your boards also and the requirements also here i have uh, shared the requirement of the cob 500 broilers and then uh, for the different different age group uh, it's a, they have different uh, requirements is our starter go on go to finisher but in nepal it's generally three types of broiler feed uh, feed is used used uh, you have to consider about that also and then you have to design the feed uh, accordingly uh, the requirement of the market also it's not like a, it, it's it mentioned in the it, it is mentioned in the manual then uh, it's not a necessity that you have to develop feed according to the manual uh, but uh, that you will get, you will gain in that's why you, that you will gain in the later on uh, experiencing and then you will you uh, in your learning process you will know you will know how to standardize the feed according to the market requirement uh, that is a long growing process and then you have to study by yourself only by going through the manuals and then going through the studies going through research it won't work that you have to get on a field experience that uh, to standardize the feed according to the market demand so here Generally, you might be like, hearing that uh, now the feed are uh, designed on the basis of the like digestible amino acid. Uh, uh, protein is not uh, no longer required, uh, no longer considered. But uh, still, I am designing the feed on the crude protein basis because uh, digestible ileal like ileal digestible amino acids is not so reliable till now. I haven't got that reliable data. So still I believed on and um, I designed the formulations on the, the crude protein basis. So here is a crude protein basis for the starter means like for from zero to 15 days, eight days, 12 days as according to your design of the feed. Crude protein would be 21 to 22 percentage. And then for then the, after that uh, uh, starter, then uh, for the grow crude protein percentage is 19 to 20 and then 18 to 19. And metabolic energy uh, generally i consider the kcal per kg i designed the feed according to the kcal per kg so it's a 2900 to 950 3050 uh consequently and then it's called the license license there's a license is there's a total license and digestible license uh you will when you get into the like uh, metrics of the raw materials and the manuals uh, manuals requirement of the birds and uh, generally there are total amino acids and then there's a digestible amino acid so mostly now nowadays the feed are uh, formulated on the basis of the digestible amino acid so like no but the, it's a digestible amino acid 1.26 and 1.16 i'll go in the beginning data after this you're like uh, if, if it's you over here like uh, here i've given a uh, for the for corn Total amino acid is 0 0.250, but the amount of amino acid the board will get is that I've mentioned here, digestible amino acid is only uh, 0 0.225. So uh, if you uh, if you design the feed under the like, if you take the matrix of the total amino acid, the raw materials, and then uh, you design the feed according to it, probably you will be overvaluing your feed. So the license. Uh, Total license uh, in the ingredients is not uh, all available for the birds. So uh, it, um, there are the digestible amino acids. So some are uh, some are can't be digested in the body intestine and it is excreted. So the percentage of the uh, digestibility also you need to consider while using your raw materials in the feed. So here I'm, I'm given here the total amino acids and digestible amino acid for your ease in the use of the feed. And so it will be easier for to select the ingredients as per the digestibility of the amino acids. Uh, here you can see for MDOC, for MDOC, like uh, license is like 
and again there is a digestible amino acids <coughs> will be so there's the yeah, 1 1.710 is a total amino acid and digestible amino acid is 1.368 and so these are the uh, these are the uh, these are the um, metrics uh, or these are the like uh, factors you have to consider while uh, while uh, designing your feed so you have to uh, make the feed nowadays uh, the all the requirements for the given given to the birds is on the basis of digestible amino acid so you, you should not get confused over total amino acid and digestible amino acid. So here the, all the requirement is given on the digestible amino acids. And here comes the requirement for the, the minerals also. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, different for the different age group. Uh, for it, and these are the requirement for the uh, COP 500 broilers. So it isn't necessary that you have to make your uh, make your like requirements on the basis of these uh, manuals only uh, you have to look over the field requirements and then performance of your feed uh, because the, there are, if you go to the different books there are a different there always you will find the different matrices for different ingredients so you have to trust on on one resources and you have to like uh, refine yourself on those on those um, basis of matrices only like uh, like if you uh, rely on one matrices of the uh, one uh, like uh, composition of ingredients, one book or one source of the ingredients, uh, one like value data of the ingredients, and then you design the formulations of feed, you you it is very necessary that you precisely design your feed according to the performance of the bots and then make your own uh, make your own matrices or a requirement a requirement on on your observation basis. On, on your observation basis like then uh, like then it will be uh, very precise uh, and then you will be able to uh, make your feed more precise um, but uh, like you have to consider your uh, consider your data source very carefully before uh, formulating the feed <clears throat> and then here i have given for the layers it's a it, for the layers is the growing um, growing stage from the chicks to before laying stage um, here the, uh, it's like the 15 to 17 it will be considered the pre-lay 15 to 17 weeks and then these uh, generally in nepal like uh, uh, here they have mentioned the two stages of feed but in nepal like we have we make the we tend to make the feed from zero to six weeks same kind of feed or <clears throat> or zero to uh, eight uh, 12 weeks same kind of feed and 12 to 14 12 to 15 we make it for the grower and then 15 to 17 for the pre-lay <clears throat> And here's the laying, and here's the year given is the laying, uh, laying, uh, laying requirement, uh, laying requirement of the feed. Uh, you have to mention that, consider that, and you, you can see it here like 1.01 uh, lysine percent 1.01 by 1.11. So 1.01 uh, is basically if it's less, it's the digestible license, and this is total license. Uh, if you want to make the feed on the basis of total license, then you have to like. Uh, you have to consider it very carefully. If you are making in the total license basis, then you have to take the take the total license from the ingredient, and then you have to put the uh, like requirement value uh, according to this. These are the total license and uh, total uh, total amino acids, and these these are the uh, digestible amino acids in the quite bold. It is given here in the quite boldly. Uh, I have taken it from the high line. Uh, or, or if you if you want to make it breed specific, then if you go according, go to the manual of the breed, then you will get all those data. It's not like confined. It, it is not sealed. It is not the more, not, not much more confidential. You will get it through the manuals. Here only I have given taken it up for the as example. So you may not get confused. These are the digestible amino acids. These total uh, total amino acids here here for everything. It's like in for uh, like methionine is a and digestible amino acid and total amino acid and methionine plus cysteine is a this one in bold is the digestible and this one is total so uh, don't get confused on the digestible and total amino acids and here if you see here the lysine is re repeated over here uh, this one is a digestible lysine acid and all the below below one is for total amino acids <clears throat> and here 
like uh, if you have your own farm or you are um, you are like consulting to the specific farm farms then then uh, before uh, making the formulations for the layers you have to you have to you need to know how much feed the board are consuming so here it is given according to the consumption of the feed if the board is uh, board is consuming 98 gram of feed then uh, this in the bold area is the requirement of the of that board if the board is consuming 103 uh, grams of feed then here here you can see it is uh, it, it has a different uh, different specification for the 103 grams of feed. If it is consuming 108 grams, it is uh, accordingly, it is designed uh, for the different different uh, consumption of feed that there, there's different specifications. So before designing the feed for the layers, you need to know how much the feed the body is consuming. And then according to that, uh, you can um, you can make your own, own formulations. And then here it's given picking layer two, layer three, layer four, layer five, right? But if you design the formulations of this much of uh, formulations, you are giving the formulations to the worker, right? In the labor labor stage. So if you give, give this much of formulation, they might get confused for, and they might get uh, confusions and the feed, feed product, finally what you expected, you might not get that uh, feed. So generally I, when, I, when I make the formulations, I go into the psychology of the labors and then uh, according, to your, according to their ease, I uh, present them the my like formula to them so they will better understand. So before giving you the uh, formulations for the feed, you go to the factory and then ask the ask the handler who is looking over the formulations and then and then you need to make them understand your feed. Otherwise, uh, it will uh, probably you won't get as per your requirement or what you have expected on feed. You might not get that results and then. It will be a very disaster if you are not if your formula is not performing as per your requirement as per your expectations. And this one is for the breeders, uh, breeder breeders. Uh, this this is the I have extracted it from the again cob uh, cob breeders. And uh, uh, as I have already told you, you can go to the manuals and then look over it, and you'll get all the requirements requirements. And then again, I've told you. And again, I, I told you it is again the design on the basis of the digestible amino acids. Uh, but in COB, you won't get the like specification for the like um, for the total amino acids. You will uh, for the, in the COB, you will only get the specification for digestible amino acids. Here, it will be given a crude protein and then digestible amino acids. So uh, don't get confused. And still, I'm uh, I'm asking you and telling you uh, be very careful while taking the. Uh, data from the ingredients and from uh, taking, watching the specification, you need to be very much uh, careful about the total amino acid and digestible amino acid. If the data you are taking is, is a digestible amino acid or a total amino acids, and then while formulating the, the uh, formulating the feed also, you have to make very consideration if you are formulating on the basis of digestible amino acid and total amino acids. And now I will show you the Excel feed also. How can you share share the Excel? Uh, is the Excel my Excel is seen? No, not yet. Not yet. Mm. So how stop share? Okay. Sure. Yeah. You can yes. uh, like uh, you can make your it's, it's seen right Excel. Yes, seen. Yeah, okay, uh, here I make uh, make my own uh, Excel sheet uh, to uh, as per my ease. Uh, if you if you are much more curious or if you want to know make your own Excel Excel the file, uh, it, you are much you are very much welcome. And if you want like guidance to make your own, uh, you can uh, come. Those who are in Nepal, you can or you can. Uh, you can come and contact me or you can share your problem with me on developing this uh, Excel sheet. I'll, I'll, I'll be very much happy to help you. Uh, here I'm designing it according to my ease, like uh, a corn is a um, corn is a, I have like classified the, my data as uh, the proximity analysis on basis, like proximity analysis, you'll get crude protein, ether extract, crude fiber, as star sugar. 
and then if you are in the nepal and you want to design the feed and you have to follow the follow the feed uh, feed uh, regulations and then in the uh, you have to you you'll get those regulatory uh, regulations on a regulatory book or something their standard you will get it from the government side or somewhere and then you have to uh, make your fit according to the feed regulations um, act of nepal mm. so in the feed regulation act of nepal they have mentioned only the crude, crude protein moistures uh, energy they have not mentioned is the metabolic energy and crude protein and ether extract means fat percentage and fiber and then moisture you have to you have to make as per the feed regulation act of nepal though it is very uh, very like conservative type of feed now it is designed according to as i've told it's designed according to amino acids protein is not considered as that important as uh, it was considered uh, before but still our like feed uh, feed regulatory act is uh, very like conservative type it is still uh, act on the crude protein and crude fat so here is proximity analysis basis is a crude protein, ether extra, sugar, lysine, uh, sugar, right? And then total amino acid, I have given your, uh, I mentioned the total amino acid and digestible amino acid also. For, for your reason, now, now, nowadays you can find uh, all the data on the basis of digestible amino acid. So you can avoid these total amino acids because uh, it won't uh, give you much more problems uh, while uh, making your actual data sit. Right, as a digestible amino acids. Uh, yeah, digestible amino acids. And I have taken into the consideration of uh, lysine, methionine, cysteine, tryptophan, arginine, arginine, is all, uh, all uh, essential amino acids I've taken into considerations. <clears throat> and uh, I make the uh, separate sheet for the minerals, like uh, for the, uh, to not, not to like uh, make a bigger uh, pages, but still it has gone to the bigger page than more than the screen. And so that's why I make them uh, separate uh, page for the mineral, separate data for the minerals only. And NSP means so the how much NSP my feed uh, uh, contains. I have made that made that data also, so uh, so that it will be easier for me to analyze on the uh, kind of uh, NSP I am getting in my feed, kind of NSP and amount of NSP I am getting in my feed. <clears throat> And uh, as, as you can see, like if you get into the phytase, then you need to know the matrix of the phytase also because it is a very much cost saving ingredients in your feed. So as you can see, I have um, I have make the, I have include the matrix for the phytase because I'm giving you the much more emphasis on the phytase that is uh, nowadays the feed price is being, being very increased and the ingredient price is increased. So you need to know the, um, know the solution for the increased feed price also for the solution is the, is the enzymes only enzymes can uh, can significantly decrease your feed price so uh, while you're taking the phytase or, or any other enzymes you better ask for their matrix value also because only the adding on the adding on the uh, enzymes will obviously make your feed very good but you, you won't be saving the prices the cost of the feed so uh, if you include the matrix of the matrix of phytates or the enzymes also, then you can significantly increase the decrease the price of the feed. So here uh, I have uh, mentioned I have included the matrix of the phytates also, and then this enzymes, the NSP enzymes. Uh, I have uh, included the matrix for the NSP enzyme also, and it's xylene is also uh, uh, NSP enzymes. These are the enzymes I've been using right now on the, my feed. So uh, these are the uh matrix for the ingredients data i've got got from the various sources and i've compiled it and put it put it in here uh if you want it then i can share this uh, file to you also <clears throat> here one thing uh, new i have i um, i have included is the amino acid digestible uh, coefficient like uh, i've told you that the uh, lysine for lysine is 90 percent digestible of the uh, lysine of the corn is 90 percent digestible and the uh, lysine of the rice polish is 76% digestible. Lysine of the DORB is 76% digestible, right? And lysine of the high pro is 89% uh, digestible soya. And then, and you can see that uh, lysine of the mustard DOC is only 80% digestible. And uh, you'll see the digestible value of the mustard DOC is quite low. 
for the tryptophan for the isolation is 79 percentage sunflower uh, is better than uh, uh, mustard doc on, on the digestible uh, in the digestible basis and you can see in the soya soya it is a better digestible than the mustard in the on the on the basis of the that digestibility term uh, <clears throat> And if, if you see over the meat and bean mold, uh, meat and bone meal, the digestibility is much lower than the uh, cereal cereal based diet. Then then the plant source, the digestibility is very low. Then in the plant source, probably it is due to the uh, rendering process and digestibility has gone down. <clears throat> And for the enzymes, I have kept all the 100 percentage because it is only a matrix is only give, given in the 100 percent that I still basis. And here's the broiler starter. If you see, then uh, is a, here's the minimum uh, minimum requirement for the metabolic energy, and is is the like inclusion level. Uh, how much inclusion level is uh, allowed allowed in the allowed in the feed is a minimum maximum. So uh, generally, I'll put the inclusion level for the rice. Uh, not more than like 10 percent this year is uh, like theoretically I put a cap to 20 percent this, but is uh, I I won't go for not more than uh, uh, like a hundred cases. Uh, but in broiler, the general is a dense diet, so you won't be able to put uh, more than 20 or 30 kg of uh, rice rice polish in your feed. And so I've been meal. Generally, I can go up to 400 because it's safest uh, safest ingredient, so I can go up to much more. And if you see over the mustard DOC, a maximum level, I, I'll go up to the uh, 50 kgs per ton. And then in sunflower also, I'll go up to the 50, 50 kgs per ton. And meat, bone, meat and bone meal, when I was using before, but now I'm not using it. It's just a sample feed uh, formulations I've given it. Uh, it. These are the quantities, uh, quantities you can put it over. These are the price, and these are the quantities. Quantities, how much you are going to include in your feed. And then it's a meat and bone meal. Uh, I want. I generally you can if you go to the go through the literature, you can see that you can go up to the uh, 70 kg per ton uh, in the feed. But uh, for the in case of meat and bone meal, I don't see. If, I don't feel safe to go more than for 30 to 40 kg per ton of feed. Uh, I have made that standard, and then uh, mostly I'll go for the meat and bone meal is 40, 40 kg per ton, but now it's not available in Nepal, so it's not, it's the, it's not a matter to, uh, it is not thing to be considered uh, not more now. And for the enzymes, uh, they have given the doses, uh, so you can go to, go to the doses uh, the company has recommended, and DLM as per requirement, uh, I've kept it up to the 10 kg, but uh, you won't put it, uh, uh, to the 10 kg of DLM because uh, it is not required and also it is not uh, economically significant also. And uh, DCP uh, up to 30 kg, but uh, generally the requirement uh, will not be more than 20 to 20 or 22 kg. LSP is 50 and broiler it is not it will uh, you won't be using not more than 15 kg uh, per ton. And then salt, right? Uh, these are the minimum and maximum value you can put it over here and then is a corn and then uh, here you will put the corn and then uh, corn how much corn you are going to put in the feed and then you're like if i kept it like uh, 500 and then accordingly my like uh, uh, matrix value algorithm for my formulation would also change so it has in, uh, I have kept the formulations. If you want to see over the formulations, uh, these are the formulations I have included. I have kept it, uh, kept it for. Um, I have uh, kept uh, my formulations over here, and you can see the formulations. It, it seems quite complicated. Uh, uh, if you know the better way to make it simple, then please, uh, please uh, share share with me also. Probably the, there are more Excel experts than me in the in participating over here <clears throat> and uh, for the like uh, this is a minimum value and maximum value of uh, metabolic energy here i have seen the metabolic energy so is the maximum value you can put it over here for as i have already mentioned that minimum value is uh, like 2900 uh, for the b0 like um, starter boiler starter and 
plus minus 50 it's allowed so it's a 20 100 to uh, 3000 or 2950 for to be more precise so that's the maximum value you can put it over here uh, you, you can see we are uh, we are deficit in deficit in energy so you can increase the like uh, corn up to 600 600 yeah and then we we are increasing on our we are increasing in the um, like energy value and but the total weight you can go up you need to go up to 1000 so it is 825 kgs only so you have much more space to increase the corn also um, so you can go up to 650 and then if you want to inc if you want to increase the uh, energy value then you can add up the soya also yeah it's a two two six four three so accordingly uh, it's a heat and trial basis so you can play on the uh, raw material and then you you can and then you keep on you uh, keep uh, you come to the as per the recommendation of the feed or in, on on the nutrient value basis here i've given it the total amino acid basis and here is so uh, I have not put any data on the total amino acid because I don't have any data for the total amino acid specifications. So here I only consider the in the digestible basis only. So it's in um, for the uh, for like the starter and generally license is 1.26, right? And then uh, I have set up a uh, set of the ratios doctor, for doctor. Can I ask one question? Sure, sure. Do you don't use solver? You don't use solver into it? Yeah, I, I use the solver, but uh, I don't rely much more on the solver right now because it's not uh, because probably I'm not being able to the, put the parameter on the basis of the um, basis as per required in the Excel. So if you know how to use the solver, then you can see. No, me. no, no, no. Yeah. I've been using for last 25 years. Okay. I mean, no, I, right I, from I think since Windows 1998, when oh, jo, one one by quarter ka floppy disk jo aata tha na. Since no, then we have no, been using before. Uh, no, yeah. before I used to have the brill. Now I'm uh, I'm formulating on the brill, right? No, so that is, the, another, the, the another the another the another question is the another question is that mm. uh, I mean I mean just I'm so sorry to interrupt. I'm so sorry. Sure, to no, no problem, no problem. Oh, uh, actually, because like you know, I, I think we should ask the question where wherever like you know, otherwise for the other part. Sure, sure, no, uh, no, no, no issue. Solver, solver was working very well till five years back. Uh -huh. As as compared to Brill. Uh -huh. But since the Brill got sold to Cargill, I think uh -huh. they have made some changes in their linear programming. Like for example, they have made changes in uh, what you call that pitate content. Mm -hmm. Because is me kya hai Excel me kya hai? there is a limitation of uh, uh, nutrient which you can add maximum. Otherwise, I mean, like person like me, I mean, I don't want to say I am very good in Excel. I mean, I have got I have got more than nine hundred sheets of poultry farming. How to do poultry farming? Each and every SOP, each and every content, I have made it in Excel. I mean, which yeah. I have been doing for last I don't know so many years. Uh, but the issue is that if you do it with solver, you don't have to adjust anything. Like for example, if you like, if you want to make a batch of even 550 kg, it will automatically give you 550 kg. If it is not able to give you, he will give you indication he is not able to do it. And then he will also give you indication where you can change. But it has got limitation. It has got limitation. Yeah. Just, you know, probably, uh, if, probably if you want, been, yeah. If you want, I can share that solver. I have made that sure, solver sure, sure, sheet, sure. like you know, uh, like in my in my formulation, there are twenty seven sheets of solver. I mean, twenty seven sheets are there. Not only this formulation of five feed or uh, like what you call that. It starts from menu. It starts from so many things. Like it has got so many dashboards which I have made. Like you know, and like you know, it has got stock summary. It has got so many things. Anyway, that that anyone can do who knows little of yeah. Excel. But yeah, I no, think no. solver will be a, solver will be a, like you know just within just I think two seconds you get everything. Just wanted to like you know uh, no. instead of like in you know, uh, uh, this one. And also now if you do the same equation in solver and if you do the same equation in brill, solver may two point like two point one percent or two point four percent cost jada hai. 
and ingredient composition also cha also changes in spite of taking the same matrix value what is there in brill and that i came to know from that whoever my source is that it is because of that phytate content because they have added few more uh, like in you know, a constraints and availability of uh, like phytate content that is why the brill uh, is giving you the uh, what you call that better better like you know what you call that price or rather most economical price than excel because that values are not added in excel so that is one of the very big barrier aaj ki tarikh mein agar 2% agar feed ka cost zyada aayega i think no one can no i mean no one about can the, like it. about the uh, about the solvent like i have mentioned already in the uh, beginning of my uh, class, beginning of my lecture like Sorry, if i you, i joined yeah, i joined it yeah, later yeah yeah because i have already uh, told my participants about the solver if you know much more better of the solver and then you can you can like oh, add, add, add worry, the solver and if you don't have a solver in your excel you can just go to the files go to the options right yes options yes. and there there's the add ins you can go to the add ins yes, and then yes, yeah yes. i have i have already added the solver in my excel so Uh, I can see here the uh, solver, but if if you niche, go to manage, niche, 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 niche. Yeah. go to manage, go to yeah, manage, Excel. manage. No, no, I, yeah. I, I, it's, it's already in my Excel. If you see, okay, my okay, you have, already added, you have already added. You have already. I've already added. No, agar ap, agar ap, go and go out there. Yeah, just, but, just uh, but, uh, no, no, just, 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 just uh, get into me. Uh, probably we've been. Uh, I was using solver in Excel. Five years before, I, I was using it in um, because I I didn't have build at that time, so I was using solver and it worked perfectly for my formulations because uh, while formulating you can only rely on the like your Excel sheet or you, you have to look on the performance basis of the boards also, and yes, then yes, yes. just and also these these uh, these I am sharing it for the beginners also. It's not like uh, okay, okay, okay. we that's, that's using the solvers so and real or. Uh, Or uh, the economics yeah. or something like that. This is for the beginner also. Yeah, so, instead of instead of yeah. instead of spending and, lakhs of rupees, you can do it free of cost on Excel. Yeah, obviously, obviously. Uh, and then uh, then you have to set up the parameter for the like for parameter also. So uh, so you need to know the requirement of the board also, right? To set up oh. the pi parameters. So that's yes, uh, that's yes, what yes. I am uh, explaining about here. Uh, if you have the solver, then it's a uh, very good. If you have the no, solver, no, then I, you know. I don't have know, solver. I have yeah. I have so many things in Excel. About only one sheet will contain. I don't know how many sheet. I mean, which will which will which will help you in what you call that uh, manipulating. Uh, I mean, arranging your stocks. Like today, if you ask me, <coughs> if I put number of birds and the feed per kg required, I will immediately come to know that for like you know for so many birds. In seven days, fifteen days, twenty-one days, as many as days you put the value, you will get how much of pre-starter is required, how much of this is required, and how much of kg of raw material will require. But there is one big, very big catch: you can't do it if you don't know Excel. That's why. That's why. No. And agar kahi galti se kahi kahi koi button dab gaya, then don't blame anyone. That yeah. is the. That is why for last five years I don't use follower. No, no, it's pros and cons of Excel. Like pros, like it, it is very easy to use. It is free to use. Like cons, then you have to you have to be very much like considerate about the uh, tabs you you've been including and the, uh, putting on the formulations. Like uh, you might get confused in the formulations also if the formulations get yeah, like erratic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, then and too much. There problem. is one issue. There is one also yeah. issue. Like for example, I can I can also block. i can also block by 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 making a vba code uh, so that like in, uh, nobody will be able to hit any keys uh, because they will require a password to key so that like you know no data will be erased but the issue is if you put those vba then solver will not work because solver also need that permission that permission yeah, every time has to be given like you know while hitting that but i think this is better in case if you don't know solver for a beginner it is very good otherwise it is very much time consuming i think i, I mean i just wanted to say i think we will carry sure, on sure, right. thank you thank you thank you for yeah yeah like uh, you have to put on the like the nutrient value also according to specifications uh, like uh, minimum value and maximum value right 
and then uh, here uh, I have a uh, segmentation mineral in the different terms. It's I have developed it for my years. So if you want to. If you want to develop your own data, I want to develop it. 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 Uh, on the heat and trial basis, as uh, it already been discussed, and I have already told you in the before also, if you set the parameter in the solver, then it is very easy to uh, solve, uh, make the feed, and it will give on, it will, uh, it will like uh, arrange the ingredients on per basis of cost, and it will give you very good uh, least cost feed formulation also. If you don't have expensive like um, expensive software for as a drill or expensive or sophisticated uh, software as a drill. And for the beginners, it is a very good tools to formulate the feed. And uh, you can make the feed very precise. So uh, this one is for a braider also. Then you can create a, a, another file and then make it set for the uh, layers also. Uh, so any participant, those who want to make their own uh, Excel spreadsheet, please, uh, if you can make it, it's OK. You can make it by yourself if you need help. On the, on the terms of data, on the terms of data, and if you don't have a specific requirement, specific requirement for the birds, uh, then you can come to me and then uh, ask me. Then I'm very much happy to share. Uh, this is much for the uh, this class. Uh, I don't, I think the I don't I don't think it was much in understandable through this presentation. Uh, if you if you want to know much more better, then you can come in my come to me persons. In person, so I can explain you much more clearly in better way. And is it is, and I'm very much free to share this data to you, and help in your Excel spreadsheet uh, if you are much more interested. And then, as I already told you, it's very much essential for the beginners. Uh, I'm not talking about the like uh, sophisticated advanced uh, those who have raised up to the advanced level of nutrition or formulas formulations because they have their own tools, they have their own softwares. But those who are the beginners, those who don't have uh, any access to data, and then those uh, those those who don't uh, know how to get the uh, data or specifications from the manuals. So here I have uh, I have shown you over here. So please uh, come and uh, come and you can uh, meet me in persons. I'll, I'll be happy to have helpful help you. Thank you very much. And this was for today. And if there's any questions, okay, let me share. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Subhash sister, for your wonderful presentation. You know, this webinar was actually designed on request of some Nepali vets, of which uh, some are working in feed companies also, and we conducted. Uh, it's on a very short notice, so we couldn't include many participants. We simply put the message uh, in social media like Facebook, LinkedIn, and fortunate that we got some participants from outside Nepal as well. Especially, we are extremely thankful for our distinguished uh, keynote speakers who could manage time for us out of their busy schedule. Uh, I'm very much thankful to Dr. Sresta for the amount of time and effort he put on this webinar. When I called him today morning, uh, just to remind him about today's talk, he was busy making slides for today's presentation. Back to back uh, two days and a total of uh, three hours, it means a lot uh, to us, Dr. Srista. And uh, there's a reason why we put this uh, particular talk in this webinar. Uh, veterinary graduates often encounter layer and breeder farmers who, uh, who ask them to make feed formula for their birds. And it is a general understanding that feed formula can be prepared only by using softwares and soft feed formulation softwares in market are quite expensive. Every bet they may not be able to purchase such a software. And it's not that I am against uh, such a software. Today itself we are having uh, going to hear a session on feed formulation using Ecomix software. Uh, but it's not that if we don't have such a software, we cannot uh, formulate diets. As Dr. Sresta explained in this talk, we can design our own Excel sheet and formulate poultry diets. As Dr. Sresta was talking, I was busy taking screenshots because I wanted to check if I had put any wrong values. 
in my excel sheet even i have been formulating poultry diets in last since last 15 years using excel sheet uh, by heat and trial method no i don't know, have drill or even i don't know how to use solver i am doing by heat and trial method and it's a pleasure that uh, one of our participant uh, onkar singh sir know uh, how to use solver and we would be pleased if we can have a session from him on using solver uh, dr singh sorry onkar singh sir can you can you give some uh, session on using yes. solver no, no, actually actually uh, uh, i have just typed on your chat that okay. i will be delighted uh, but before that i must tell you yesterday i was talking to few people actually uh, i don't know how many of people you know about me or my background and all if you go to the youtube if you go to the youtube i was the only one person giving a lecture at knowledge day in 2019 about how to do poultry farming with data management okay that's great it was a session for more than 40 minutes in uh, in knowledge day of 2019 now if you go to the youtube you will find few of my like you know few of my uh pre presentations and talks on how to do poultry farming for a profitable as a profitable business not only just doing a, like an acha fcr leke ana or this no 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 i am only keen see my wife and my mother is interested how much money i give them <laughs> so for that you need profit if you don't get profit why are we doing this business so to bring a profit to bring a profit there are so many ways in poultry farming how to do i have conducted so many workshop and sometime the workshop takes two days and even in two days more than like you know not even 20% what you call that uh, uh, like 20% of uh, like you know the topics can be covered because each and every topic has to be uh, like you know has to be brought into notice i don't know how many people do risk analysis i don't know how many people do sort analysis so there are so many things so many sops in poultry farming i could and i yesterday i was talking to somebody and i was telling him i think we sometime in india i have attended in what you call that in pandemic more than 45 or 48 sessions on zoom like same 5 hours 6 hours but i'm telling you with all the respects and everything to everyone every zoom meeting is required but what happens if you are not able to for example if you are having a zoom meeting on gut acting i understand there are five products on gut acting i am using the gut acting product out of five one i am already using or i will use it but whether i am getting profit or not yesterday i was talking that the kind of efforts what you have taken for six days continuously and out of six days only first day i was i was not there so i could not attend it first last 5 days i have been attending rigorously and i am i am telling you now now i am actually heading to the farm it will take more than 2 hours to reach my farm i am in a car but i am talking to you i am listening to each and everything you have people have done a great job like you know by giving some kind of practical information practical matlab kya mere hisab se jisko aap kal subah istemal kar sakte hain otherwise we can talk very big and not able to use it somebody will tell you buy 2 crore rupees ka material and your production cost will uh, will reduce i i mean mere liye koi fayde ki baat nahi aap mere ko ye batao ki mera production cost matlab 50 paise bhi kilo kam ho jayega lekin kal se kaise kam hoga so that from tomorrow we have discussed we have discussed like you know like you know how to reduce 2 kilo per 2 kg cost per 2 uh, rupees per kilo cost how to reduce 2 kilo how to reduce 3 kilo i don't know like you know i don't know the scale and the data of nepal i will get it from somewhere and then i can i can share you how that 2 rupees per kilo mere jaise aadmi ke liye agar 1 rupya kilo bhi production cost kam hota hai na i'll be able to earn 1 crore rupees per annum and Thank you. we are talking about we are talking about reducing not 1 rupee we are talking about reducing 1 rupee 2 rupee 3 rupee and the kind of stupidity is what we do in our business and how that stupidity can be reduced so that your profit can be enhanced i have mentioned in that chat i have just given you if you want solver i will send you the solver not at i mean it is connected to my database 
but still i will remove some of my database and i will send you so that you can use it from tomorrow only those software i will if you want i will give you the training also okay how to use it? it is so simple it is so simple to use but i am still telling you don't use any kind of excel sheet for formulation if you don't know excel number 1 number 2 dr shrestha will be uh, will will uh, like you know, will agree with me there are so many in vitro and in vivo factors in the mind of a nutritionist that he applies in that software which anybody else cannot be able to use i am just so if if all this solver is used by nutritionist or doctor then i think he will be able to give justice but if you are not qualified i think don't mess with it this is my open suggestion because i have burnt my fingers by like because i i, I have seen i don't know in your country whether you have the formulation is based paid by formulator or it is made by the nutritionist i don't know in your in your country who makes formulation nutritionist or a formulator nutritionist then it is also right. but in but in few even in india also there are some formulators they are not nutritionists they make uh, formulation for you so that in vitro and in vivo calculation in their mind of a nutritionist cannot be applied and so everything goes wrong and as doctor will agree with me the nutrition of poultry when every month there is some change so that every month attention should be brought to reduce your to improve your performance and reduce your cost of production but i have mentioned you to so share some some documents like what yesterday harjo uh, mr harjo singh was sharing that sop type i'll share some of the documents so that at least you, by default you will be you will be able to understand you will be able to write down some of your do's and don'ts in poultry farming and i mean for what you call that profitable poultry farming so that you know where you are and then you can like in a start or change your journey of a poultry farm but i i can share with you hotun it's a promise to you thank you so it requires thank you very much yeah thank you very much singh sir we are blessed to have uh, participants like you uh, bharat sir and dr pravin singh we are really blessed and we would surely like to uh, be entertained by your sharings uh, whatever you can share with us please do share i will share you my email address as well and some day we would like to have uh, a session with you on regarding how to how to do the cost cutting you know cost cutting and uh, how to increase the profitability of small and medium scale farmers thank you very much because uh, today like feed to... plays around yeah. feed, today the feed is around 78% of production cost never forget yeah, yeah. thank you very much and today again, 78% like to... cost is feed again i would like to thank uh, thank you dr subhas uh, after this presentation even i have um, you know developed uh, interest uh, to sit you for with uh, for some couple of hours uh, with the with the excel sheet and thank you very much uh, for inviting the young vets uh, that if they want they can meet you in person and uh, design those sheet and how to play with the sheet and if the participants uh, have any questions in their mind please feel free to put in chat box or you may simply uh, unmute yourself and uh, ask the question regarding this feed formulation using excel sheet dear participants uh, any questions please feel free to ask uh, to dr subhas uh, our second speaker uh, dr subhas i think Singh, i think i think they want to meet me in person and then ask questions <laughs> yeah but you still yeah. uh, still uh, yeah. i uh, last uh, going message uh, goodbye message that uh, you need to be your your own uh, like nutritionist or formulator because uh, better than your uh, theory or whatever articles you go through or whatever uh, inspiration you have you have to make your own precision your you have tune up and then uh, that only you can do with your observation in the field not only by looking the actual sheet or on the screen so actually actually own, i think actually i think and, and i'll, actually, I'll just I say a big goodbye
thank you thank you very much actually, dr sivas and actually i think the real effort will be real effort will be how to bring that nutrition which is given in that formulation how to bring that formulation into the feed is a very big challenge yeah matlab agar uske andar suppose pre starter ke andar say around 20 23% protein likha hai and 1.37% uh, lysine likha hua hai when you make feed and you, when you make analysis of that feed are you getting this like what you call that 90% or 95% of same nutrition what is mentioned in that formulation and what you get that lab testing from your wet chemistry lab are you getting the same like uske andar agar suppose 2. Point, ya 3.7 percent agar so, uh, what you call that uh, uh, sodium hydrochloride likha hua hai are you getting 3.7 or you are getting 5.2 or you are getting 2.1 that is a very big challenge it is very easy to give formulation but very difficult mm-hmm. to bring that formulation into a feed form yeah for which i think last 7 days or last 6 days whatever sessions has been done if you follow that sessions i think especially that mr sarjot singh wala because that is mm-hmm. the key to bring like you know because of not proper mixing because of not buying good raw material you are not able to produce what is given in the formulation mm-hmm. even the big big millers big millers like those who produce in a year <coughs> around 2 lakh 75000 tons or maybe uh, sorry 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 they are producing 2 lakh 75000 tons per month even they are not able to bring yes. so don't be disheartened even even you will not but practice and training it for you it is possible but for them it is very difficult to to bring uh, those kind of accuracy uske baad hi performance aayega so i have just uh, got uh, a message from our today's uh, second keynote speaker dr veer singh he is going to deal on uh, uh, nutritional diseases in poultry and uh, i got a message that he will be joining at uh, 12 noon sharp uh, so we have completed uh, the session the first session 15 minutes earlier Uh, if uh, you have any concerns queries we can discuss or maybe we can um, listen to some valuable experience uh, from dr unkar singh sir we have 15 minutes or if you have any questions in mind please feel, feel free to put uh, we can discuss our second speaker is joining us after uh, 15 minutes never mind i am i am there i may be cut off for One minute or two minutes because I am traveling, but okay. not an issue. Anybody? I do. I uh, what? What will be the broiler production, broiler uh, population in Nepal? Like, you know, what is the placement per per month? Any data you have? Yeah, actually, it was like uh, before COVID. Okay, because the COVID has really disturbed the scenario here. before covid uh, it was like uh, 40 lakhs uh, per week okay say around but uh, takriban um, 1.1 say around 1 crore and uh, 80 lakh per month yeah but uh, now it has uh, almost uh, half you know it it's almost oh, no. uh, half the scenario is uh, such <laughs> see in, in in india we are we are almost producing 36 crore per month okay 36 crore per month and out of 36 crore you can say 70 to 75% of population is in the hands of 27 people okay and the rest 20 to 25% are in the hands of maybe maybe 30000 people okay. i mean open farming and all we are yeah, yeah. here contract including myself uh, i okay. conduct contract farming with more than 120 farmers okay i been doing it for last more than 25 years contract farming yeah. before that i was doing some other business but in poultry okay. farm okay i been doing this business for last 40 43 years mm. great but this contract farming i am telling you 
yeah. you all get prepared this contract farming will come to you also today tomorrow day yeah. after i don't know because mm. the feasibility of this business is not under open farming the visit the feasibility of this business will come under contract farming because of lot of infrastructure required lot of uh, marketing required a lot of lot of efforts in bringing the good performance required and uh, integrator will take away the share today tomorrow day after because yeah. the whole world, whole world is under integration and this yeah, and this yeah model exactly has been working this model has been working and i am mm. also telling you don't be disheartened even in india also more than 70% or uh, like i will say more than 90% people for last two and a half years especially after covid on an average they have not earned money yeah i have that i have the uh, some of the data i will not be able to share i have the yeah. balance sheets of more than 27 companies with me and if you see their average profitability they are negative mm-hmm. so don't be disheartened if you are also negative the big giants are also negative but मेरा ऐसा कहना है दूसरे का हमको लेना देना नहीं है पैसा तो मैं कमाने को आया हूं और मैं पैसा कमा के जाऊंगा बट देर आर वेस ओनली थ्रू दैट वेस लीगल लेजिटिमेट बट वॉट इज हैपन इफ यू डोंट है स्ट्रैटेजी इन प्लेस यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू मेक प्रॉफिट इट इज दैट स्ट्रैटेजी दैट इज दैट स्ट्रैटेजी बिकॉज ऑफ दैट स्ट्रैटेजी यू विल बी यू विल यू विल बी एबल टू मेक यू विल बी एबल टू मेक प्रॉफिट एंड दैट प्रॉफिट मे वराई फ्रॉम maybe 20 paisa a kilo to around 7 rupees a kilo i mean i'm i'm all i'm talking about in uh, in indian currencies and okay. uh, if at all agar aapka strategy theek nahi hai agar aap theek nahi hai to from 7 rupees to 20 rupees a kilo for the mm. year kg so it is almost nearly to the bankruptcy nearly to the capital whatever is your capital invested will be wiped yeah. out if you don't strategize your business we would like to have a session on the sets no no what strategy sir before we have a session i i, I need to i need to have some of your like you know call that uh, some of your uh, data some of your poultry farming patterns some of selling patterns okay you share with me your telephone number because i'm more on whatsapp not on linkedin and all like you know. okay i will i uh, i'll so share like you know, i'll be able to share you some uh, like you know, i'll be able to share some documents with you some like you know some posters with you like the posters how i how i like you know how i encourage my people to do business how i encourage my farmer to do business like you know to do uh, better management practices sir you will be surprised that poultry farmer even don't have the uh, what you call that uh, 70% equipments required for getting good performance yeah sab aap aap abhi aap jis chair pe baithe hain us chair pe agar ka koi khila nikal jaye aur aap uske upar baith jao aur aap bolo ki aap 6 ghante baith ke aap uske upar lecture do to nahi possible hai na mm-hmm. i mean you need that kind of homeostatic conditions in your farm also where they will be able to perform there are yeah. all standards mm-hmm. everything aap farm ka washing kaise karte ho aap farm ko gap kitna dete ho there are so i have a presentation where how 42 factors affecting your profitability and that 42 factors takes more than 2 days it is just performance mm-hmm. but for before that i need to know lot of things from you how be, how you people are doing simply by selling by telling how i do probably may not may not help to the extent because whatever we talk discuss it should be viable and it should be practical and it should be like you know what you call that it should be in a adaptable format main agar aap bolu ki aap chand sitare tod ke leke aao aapko acha performance milega kuch nahi hone wala mere haath mein jo hai whatever is applicable to me मेरे हाथ में जो है उसके ऊपर मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ पहले तो मैं वही ट्राई करना चाहिए ना उसके बाद में देन लाइक नो वी कैन ओके वी कैन एक्सपांड और वी कैन डू दिस और वी कैन डू दैट एग्जैक्टली सो वी कैन टॉक ऑन या या आई हैव 
I have uh, shared my WhatsApp number in the chat. Yeah, yeah, box. I, I, I got it. I got it. We, we can exchange ideas. Because I, I, I know in, I know in Nepal only two person. One is our uh, Swami, Swami Rajni Swami. Mm, yeah, Swami sir. <laughs> uh, I mean, for me, he is a Rajni Swami. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, another, and another is uh, I don't know. I forgot their name. Uh, some. Satish, Satish. Yeah. Satish, Satish. Satish, 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 Sri Nagar Farming. Yeah, Sri Nagar, Sri Nagar, yeah, Satish. Whatever, am I pronouncing very correctly? Satish, I know this gentleman. Correct. These two gentlemen. Yeah. I mean, not now. I know Swami for last more than 20, 25 years. Okay. And one another Swami who had a long hair, who, who had upward, I think, parent stock, something like that. He was also Swami. Uh, who, who's, who used to wear hat, who used to wear hat, a very long hair. Kisabji, Kisab Kharka? Unka bhi naam Swami tha. Unka bhi naam Swami yeah. tha. But like that. Wo jeans wearing Swami. Wo hat pente the. Aur bade lambe lambe baal bhi the unke. He had a Hubbard. I think he had a Hubbard parents. Uh, now. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know their personal name. Okay. I don't know their personal okay. But this much I knew. Anyway, if anybody has any questions, I mean, I will try to answer whatever experience I have. Mm. Even I'm telling you, even if you change the vaccination method. Yeah. I mean, such a such a good performance comes. And probably I'm telling you, probably from after six months, from today, after six months, yeah. we, we all the vaccines will be given in Eggs. Hatchery. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah, eggs. Yeah. What do you call that? In vovo vaccination. In vovo. In, in vovo. In vovo. Uh, in vovo in vaccination. Day. Yeah. In the 18th On day. The, before... When you shift, when you shift from. From incubator to hatcher. From, hatch, from right? setter to hatcher. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uswakat gate hai. And some other mm -hmm. vaccines also to be given on the first day also. I mean, because of yeah. that, we, uh, our, like, you know, approximately 75 grams extra body weight we will get because of not having stress of giving stress. 2 to 3 3 vaccination because of yeah. that 75 gram body weight extra milligram like. very true very true we will yeah. i mean i, I have but, already started receiving yeah. those chicks yeah but the, after the six months, has started yeah the train so has started, started. started yeah in in nepal also some uh, hatcheries are giving uh, vaccines on day 1 and we, we don't uh, the farmers don't have to to vaccination in field, but, I, I, uh, <coughs> but not in layers. If, uh, layers if you want, layers if, you, if you want to, if you want to know in one word how the bird performance will come in one word. Yeah. Try to give. I mean that that, that one word is called comfort. Hmm. If you are giving comfort to your bird, the bird will perform. Yeah. The bird will perform. अभी आप जहाँ बैठे हो, वहाँ पर air condition है, पंखा है। पंखा तो है air condition नहीं है सर। <laughs> नहीं नहीं एक मिनट। I'm just telling you। आप <laughs> अभी ऐसा है कि मेरी भी गाड़ी में air condition है, लेकिन कभी कभी ऐसा भी है कि वो भी चार चार दिन काम नहीं करता है। सभी के वही हाल है। Don't worry about it। अगर आप पंखा बंद कर दोगे, will you be able to sit for six hours? Same case is with poultry. Same, uh, no, it's cold. It's different. If the weather is warm, 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 if the Oh, 1.25 to 1.5 square feet per bird. 
don't ever grow any bird less than 1.5 in any season okay and in, what is the average body weight size you sell it's 2.5 kilo so don't give less than 1.6 density square feet if you want to do 2.5 okay and see the magic mm -hmm. see the magic i am telling this we have been practicing now for last 3 years our balance sheet has turned down i mean from minus it has come to plus okay can you believe it in india a big big integrator placing 2 crore chicks per month mm -hmm. they are having average average annual cfcr of 1.54 average cfcr of 1.54 and That's all good. on small farms all on small farms like 2000 3000 5000 10000 square feet farm in open farm only open farming okay that is how the ec sheds are now getting in many places ec sheds are getting closed down okay because the ec sheds expenses bahut zyada hai ha huh. earlier the difference was ec shed was getting very good fcr okay now because of this strategy even that open farming is also getting very very good fcr that ec shed chalane ka hi 4.5 rupya per kilo kharcha hai hmm actually our tragedy is only one that hum kaam karne se pehle hum hamara business plan aur ya hum hamara what to call that business plan bolo ya homework bolo wo hamari industry mein matlab hamare yahan par bhi absent hai kam hai ki baat hi nahi ho rahi hai absent is zero absent true very true so unless you do unless you do jaise abhi for example aapne ye zoom meeting karna tha बड़े शॉर्ट नोटिस था बट आपने कुछ प्लानिंग तो किया हुआ होगा ना साहब ऐसा लोग उठ के शेड डाल देते हैं उसमें मुर्गी डाल देते हैं पता कुछ होता नहीं है तो तो सब वो तो तो बर्बाद तो होंगे ना अल्टीमेटली लाइफ स्टॉक है yeah. कोई भी आके उठ के पोल्ट्री फार्म आई मीन यू शुड गो टू सम काइंड ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन डू समेट अबाउट इवन इफ यू नो पोल्ट्री फार्मिंग बट स्टिल यू शुड बी डूइंग सम मैथमेटिक्स लाइक ना कि मेरा प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट क्या आता है मेरा ये क्या आता है वो क्या आता है टुडे द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ एवरीथिंग हैज कम टू थर्ड डेसिमल लाइक ऐसा नहीं होता है कि हम 1.54 का एफसीआर चाहते हैं हम 1.543 का एफसीआर चाहते हैं नॉट 1.546 का एफसीआर चाहते हैं जो 0.3 0.03 डेसिमल का जो डिफरेंस है ना वो दैट आल्सो कम्स इन करोड्स ऑफ yeah i i think you must have heard a company called suguna yeah they are in fourth decimal okay they don't talk about our fcr is like na uh, like na whatever suppose if their fcr is around 1.7 so he will say my fcr yeah. is 1.6903 okay because Thank his you. volume is around 5 crore placement per month okay thank you thank you very much omkar singh sir uh, for your valuable